how do I now send and get this on Wall of Coins? So after I've went through and done my seller account setup, so I've added four different seller accounts years ago on Wall of Coins, and now all I need to do is deposit to my seller account. So what I do, I click on this, whatever you want to call that there. And now what coin, what I get out of Wall of Coins, I get an address to send my Bitcoin to. So I send it to this specific address and that's how I fund my Wall of Coins account. So I go over to Coinbase, I'm going to hit send request here. I paste the address directly in here. And always double check that the address pasted correctly. What I usually do, I go over here and double check the first four or five and the last four or five. So at 184D, five and then the capital SS lower S D one because there are clever little hacking programs out there that don't do anything on your computer except whenever you paste a Bitcoin address, they switch it into a different Bitcoin address. And also just to make sure I didn't copy it wrong. For example, if I were to just copy this and leave off the end, it wouldn't work correctly. So one of the biggest ways to mess this up is to not send the Bitcoin correctly. So I encourage test this on a small amount first to make sure you do it correctly. Test this on maybe what, whatever amount is small enough to you that if you lose it, you wouldn't get upset. So test this out on a small scale. You can see I've, I've so far I've made 40,000 in deposits. I haven't had any problems yet. So I test this out on smaller amounts, but now I'm very comfortable with it. So then from here, I send the entire amount over to Wall of Coins, and then I put in here exactly what this is for on my accounting. I say Genitrust Wall of Coins Deposit for Chase Account. This way, if there's any audit or accounting, I'm showing exactly what the purpose of this is for, exactly why I'm sending this money out, exactly where it's going. So then all I do on here, I hit Send Funds, and then you can see I'm sending my entire wallet out here, and I double check again that this address that Wall of Coins asked for on here is the exact same as the one I'm sending to us. So it looks good, so I hit confirm now. Coinbase now says that that send is complete. So I've sent that 0.7 Bitcoin I just bought, and then you look over here, now I've just got 20 cents left in my account. Hopefully today or tomorrow I'll have 7,000 more so we can do this again. Now coin on Wall of Coins, these verifications are manual. So someone has to actually see that you made the deposit and hit it. So I encourage send an amount that you're comfortable with. You know, don't send if you've only got $1,000. Don't send all that on the first transaction and then lose your mind. Send a little bit, $20, 50, 100, whatever. Send it out and then just wait until you get the confirmation. It takes a little bit of time to get things confirmed on Wall of Coins. It takes about 30 minutes to get the Bitcoin transaction itself confirmed and then to get Wall of Coins to actually confirm it sometimes can take a few hours, especially if you send it on a weekend or something, it may take a day or two. So the slowest part of this process is going back and forth buying the Bitcoin and getting it reloaded on Wall of Coins. But once it's reloaded on Wall of Coins, then it's available for sale there all the time. So once you've got it deposited, things usually have been going for me pretty fast on making the transaction. So I'm grateful I've showed you the process here from start to finish from buying and getting it listed on Wall of Coins.